डियर स्टूडेंट्स वी सी दैट इन एनी कंटेम्प्रेरी सोसाइटी कारपोरेट फॉर्म ऑफ ऑर्गेनाइजेशन आर गेटिंग बिगर डे बाय डे दे आर सो बिगर दैट ओवर द पीरियड ऑफ टाइम दीज कारपोरेशन हैव ट्रांसफॉर्म्ड देम सेल्स फ्रॉम आ स्मॉलर मल्टी नेशनल कंपनी इन टू आ लार्जर ट्रांस नेशनल कारपोरेशन अ कारपोरेट फॉर्म ऑफ बिजनेस ऑर्गेनाइजेशन इज इफेक्टिव एंड एफिशेंट मीन टू गेट कैपिटल टू ऑप्टेन द रिक्वायर्ड रिसोर्स एंड टू प्रोड्यूस गुड्स एंड सर्विस फॉर द फाइनल मार्केट इन मेनी कंट्रीज ऑफ द वर्ल्ड दीज कारपोरेशन आर मच डोमिनेंट इन देयर एरिया ऑफ बिजनेस एन इम्पॉर्टेंट फीचर ऑफ दीज कारपोरेशन इज दैट द ऑनरशिप स्ट्रक्चर इज डिफ्यूज दिस मीन्स दैट इन अ कारपोरेट फॉर्म ऑफ ऑर्गेनाइजेशन द ऑनरशिप ऑफ द बिजनेस इज शेयर बाय लार्जर नंबर ऑफ शेयर होल्डर्स दीज इंडिविजुअल शेयर होल्डर्स परपोर्शनली होल्ड अ स्मॉलर स्टेक रेलिवेंट टू द टोटल कैपिटल another important feature of these organizations is that the individual shareholders are located at a distant place from each other and due to this distant location these shareholders cannot play their role in controlling the affairs of the firm as a result these shareholders appoint professional managers those managers are given the authority to deploy the business assets and to conduct business for the interest of the shareholders now we see that in a corporate form of organization the ownership is separated from the management of the firm this separation of ownership from control of the firm creates an agency relationship between the shareholder and the managers the managers are generally known as agent in this relationship and shareholders are known as principal of these agents now sometimes this agency relationship may not work well for the organization and it and it does not affect only the shareholders but it also affects the other stakeholders like creditors like general public like investors like government regulatory authorities customers or many others now this creates a conflict of interest among all these stakeholders and now the question arises how to control this conflict of interest there is a one solution with the help of which this conflict of interest can be controlled and that solution is the development implementation and establishment of a strong corporate governance structure in the modern organization now what corporate governance is corporate governance is composed of principles procedures policies and clearly clearly defined authorities responsibilities and accountabilities all this used by the shareholders and other stock hold, stakeholders to overcome the conflict of interest in the firm this corporate governance mechanism is used in such a way that it ensures the minimization of conflict of interest but what happen if a company fail to structure its corporate governance system effectively a loss may be due to the operational risk to the company company may not be able to perform as per the set procedures rules and regulations in the company due to this there the investor may lose trust in the company's operations and its policies there may be a risk of comp to the company's existence due to continuous failure the existence of the company may come to an end now how much 
riskiness is the investment in a particular company is subject to the quality of the corporate governance system prevailed in that company it is very much important to monitor continuously the corporate governance practices in any company that because we see that a change in management change in board of directors may change the competitiveness and market conditions for the company so in order to ensure the effective governance the continuous governance mechanism is much more important now how much effective and efficient functioning of a company can be it depends that how much strong corporate governance structure is in the company an efficient corporate governance system in any company may lead to the corporate failure and in the failed organizations there is a loss of investors money again there is a trust loss on inefficient functioning of global and local financial systems in order to avoid these losses it is needed that continuous monitoring of the company's practices in terms of its corporate governance and how much it is effective to sustain corporate governance in corporate governance system it is required now what is the role of regulators in implementing and ensuring consistent corporate governance system introduction of new regulatory frameworks to restore the faith of the investors in any companies and financial markets is much de desirable it prevents future corporate collapses it ensures and strengthens the corporate governance culture in any organization yet corporate governance regulation required to be updated regularly it required to address all the corporate governance problems it it requires to be uniform for all set of organizations in a particular industry in a particular culture but a uniform as a whole for the country's corporate sector